so that's janvi for all of you guys janvi is almost hot of the press she's actually come to meet us uh, after shooting something that's an upcoming film she's very excited for that and the reason she's excited because is the fact that she's going to be learning cricket in the next film after learning the dynamics of probably flying a plane a uh, battling how to save your life in a freezer now you're holding a cricket bat and trying to figure that out tell me how exciting is it for you to learn these new things as an actor it's very exciting firstly hi everyone um thank you so much for coming and i'm so excited to meet all of y'all uh so getting back to your question i think it's very exciting i think it's one of the reasons that i love what i do so much i think by nature i'm a little bit of an escapist so i find a lot of joy and comfort in um losing myself in characters and in different journeys and i mean how many people can say that for my work i learned how to fly a chopper i sat in a chopper um and uh, when and did re stimulations of different sorty missions or uh, i was locked in a freezer for 21 days at minus 10 degrees and now i'm learning cricket and i i've had the privilege and the honor to learn from i think one of the best coaches in the country mr abhishek nayar and uh, vikrant who coached the kkr team and i did a cricket camp where i got to spend a lot of time with dk who we all love i'm sure and i got to watch hardik pandya and his brother krunal train and i just have so much respect um for cricketers now because it's it's a skill set that i think it it's very difficult and it takes a lot of commitment i really like the names you've dropped because these are all heavyweights in the sport they know what it is like to play that particular sport i was just telling our guests that you know while we finished 20 years at the conclave you managed to clock in 5 years you finished 5 years this particular year the number might be a single digit number but in those 5 years you managed to sort of play every possible character show every possible emotion i want to speak to you a little bit about bursting the bubble bursting the myth did you have any preconceived notion about the industry that now when you look back and you were like oh i was told it is so and so oh i was told that you have to navigate in a certain way but i learned something different what has been your learning in this last 5 years i think so much of the industry has changed while in these past 5 years also i think when i was starting out the timing of my first film was also was simultaneous with this huge social media boom and uh, the kind of difference that was making in our industry the kind of importance i think publicity and perception building was given before me was minimal but all of a sudden you know with the emergence of social media stars and pr activities all of these things started taking a lot more weighted so I've always been hearing my whole life from my parents and from the people around me and I've come from the notion that sar niche rakh ke kaam karoge mehnat karoge wohi kaafi hai but then now when I look up and I look around there's a lot of importance and weightage given to perception building given to creating your own brand and I think that's something that I I hadn't um, accounted for at all when i started out and i don't just think that this is something we're dealing with as actors i think that youngsters people from different professions i i think that they all have to take into account um the change that social media has brought about in our culture and society so if i had to ask you to describe brand janvi at this point in time in your life what's the one line how would you describe yourself i i really don't know i <laughs> I think I I myself I'm still discovering it I don't think I can put myself into a category I think malleable maybe I think I can I can be whatever you want me to be I don't know what what do you all think I don't know what I am Is I don't know what I let's give us let's give her a round of applause me. for the fact that we've seen her actually do so many things at this young age That's sweet Absolutely because I think versatility shouldn't be taken for granted whichever area of work you're in I also want to speak to you a bit about the fact that you know uh, we both come from Bombay and when you step out in Bombay there is no escaping Janvi Kapoor at least if you pop up on social media uh, Delhi obviously is a very different ball game altogether but the minute you open Instagram and just for anybody sitting here in the audience when they start seeing uh, photographers chasing you you also need to be courteous enough you also need to be polite enough you also need to know that they are doing their job and then you also need to find the balance of drawing that line to know where that too much could probably transgress into your personal space 
Over the last few years, how have you mastered this art of balancing the sanctity of your personal space? Because that truly uh, is a wit that you can't learn somewhere. I don't know. I think each to their own. I think for me, what I've realized is there's always been that I'd like to, s I mean, I hope this doesn't sound disconnected or arrogant, but I think that extra sense of pressure, okay, I know people are looking to point a finger at me. So if, if I'm smiling too much one day in front of my gym or wherever the paps have got me, then it's always like, dekho kitni eager, kitni desperate hai. If I'm having a bad day and I just like, I've got a huge pimple on my face and I would want to look down and just walk in and like start my shoot or get it over with, then it's like, kitni ghamandi hai. So you just have to learn that, I mean, in the papers today, in the trash tomorrow, it really doesn't matter. Opinions don't last. What lasts is your work. What lasts is what you think of yourself. So all of these things are non tangible. So I take it for what it is. I mean, it's great that I'm getting attention. Everyone loves attention. Um, but you can't take it to your head. And relevance isn't permanent. And whatever attention I'm getting today at the start, it was because of my parents. Even now, a great deal of it is because of, um, I guess, the family that I'm born into. And maybe a little bit now because of, I'd like to think and hope because of the work that I'm doing. But that's what it comes down to. It comes down to the work. It doesn't come down to like the shorts that I wore to the gym. That's not the kind of, those are not the kind of things I want to be known for. You know, I like the fact that she's so clear in her head in terms of, um, it's a learning process, but the clarity that Janvi has in terms of how she wants to navigate through these perceptions. Uh, you seem to be really sure, more sure now than before, of perhaps how you want to be perceived, not just by us, uh, not just by the fans, but perhaps by your peers. And you brought in a very interesting angle. You spoke, about, you spoke a little bit about your family, and we all sitting here know that that's a legacy that perhaps could be a burden on your shoulders or it could also be something that you're so proud of. Uh, two facets of the same coin. And you often keep getting this asked. Um, I don't know how it would be in your shoes to constantly ask this to get asked this question. But I want to ask you, uh, what does this legacy mean to you now? Because maybe four years, five years back in the line when this question popped up, you had a different answer. But now that you are an evolved actor, you've navigated through directors, produ produ producers, the media, PR game. What is your take on the legacy angle? I think at first, the legacy angle had become my identity. But I think now it's just a source of motivation and it's a source of, um, I'm just very grateful to it. I think I reached a point in my life where I was just so tired of being apologetic about it, you know. I mean, yeah, this is my lineage. This is the family that I'm born into. This is the work that they've done. Why should I? not be ashamed of it, but why should I let it take away from who I am? Like, it is what it is now. And I'm thankful and I'm grateful. I've gotten so much in life because of it, but I will work harder to do justice to it. So, I mean, I've, I've really just adopted a mantra for everything of it is what it is. Jo hai, wo hai. You're almost sounding like you've come out of an Oprah Winfrey master session with but all But I'm telling you, I've gone on this outdoor for this cricket film that I was doing, Mr. and Mrs. Mahi. And have any of you all been to Ahmedabad recently? Anybody from Ahmedabad or has been to Ahmedabad here? It's very hot. It is boiling right now. And so we were playing for 12 hours a day on this cricket pitch. And, um, and it was just a very, very tough shoot. And uh, none of us anticipated that it would be that grueling. We were playing with a lot of um, national level female cricketers as well. And uh, it was a great experience, but it literally feels like I've fought some battle and come back. So now I'm just like, it is what it is. I just want to like live my life and do my work. You should take, I mean, you should nag and complain as much as you want to, because we were not in your shoes when you were there under the sun doing all of that. I also want to speak to you a bit about the fact that, um, you know, your mom at the peak of her career did a lamhe. Uh, she was questioned for that. The reviews when they came out, uh, praised her, but the film didn't perform that well at the box office. Your choices also somehow, somewhat reflect that craving and hunger for you to break from the stereotype and try and do something different. You at least try it. The box office fate, the audience's love is not in your hands. Yeah. But there's an effort and an attempt to do it. You know, whether it's a Mili, whether it's a Ruhi, whether it's your upcoming films, whether it's Jerry, all of these films I'm talking about. 
is there something is this a page that you've drawn from her chapter from the book of her life i think i guess organically um i mean she is my mom and i've grown up hearing what her outlook on cinema is learning from her taste in um in films her take on her art so i think inherently i guess i've imbibed some aspect of that but i think a lot of it also has to do with the fact that i don't like being put in a box and i think for myself i like to challenge myself and i like to um take the route that's less predictable and uh, learn from it and and prove to myself that i can do it and i think i think if anything feels like the easier route like it would come very naturally to me to to do you know the glamorous roles where i can come in and like do two three comedy scenes and dance and i'm dying to do those kind of roles because i think it's a lot of fun and i think it's what gains a lot of popularity amongst the masses but i feel like that's what everyone expected me to do so i just felt the need to do um the complete opposite for a while and now i'm now i'm thinking i don't know what to do now but we want to see janvi in like a stereotypical masi bollywood film dancing around trees wooing the hero getting chased all of that i mean who wouldn't that was my next question actually how ambitious is janvi in the sense that are you somebody if you hear somebody is producing a film say for example you know a sanjay leela bansali is looking at somebody who is in that age group is looking at somebody who could have potentially the personality traits that you have would you aggressively go and say audition for it would yeah aggressively shamelessly i've messaged sanjay so many times <laughs> uh, i said sir mai audition kar leti please mujhe ek baar mil lo mujhe ek baar mil i do all i mean there's no ego in it hum sab yahan kaam karne ke liye aaye hain aur kaam ke bhook mein insaan kuch bhi kar sakta hai and i mean it's not like i'm see i don't think i'm better than anyone else i'm definitely not at that stage where i'm like ha mai to wait karungi wo log aayenge mere paas like i i'm hungry for work and i want to work with these people i remember meeting nitesh sir so many times for bawal i've auditioned with so many to cut you but janvi's upcoming film has nitesh tiwari as the director i mean that in itself speaks volumes for the fact that a director who's very strict with his craft who's very hard on his actors who will not cast anybody until and unless he has full faith in them sorry to cut you but i had to let the audience That's know that okay. no he's actually a dream to work with he's from everyone that i've worked with he's been the i don't want to say easiest but it just felt like it just felt like i was on a holiday it just felt like makkhan to work with him um so yeah i i like the fact that how she's drop that bombaya phrase it seemed like makkhan to work with him uh i want to have a bit of a lighter session with janvi now because i wanted to we wanted to deep dive into her mind and understand the dynamics of a young star the pressures that a young star faces the challenges that she faces it's all nice to see a young actor on an instagram page looking you know looking all glammed up but very little information on what actually goes behind all of it uh so on a lighter note janvi I wouldn't call this a rapid fire because I know you're bored of answering rapid fire questions and it's the most and they always get me in trouble. They always we can't guarantee you that but I know that you will be yourself. There's yeah. only that much you can do, right? So these are very fun lighthearted questions. What's the first thing that you notice in a person when he walks into the room? He like a male specifically or a person? A person. I think the way that they see the world. like what they have to say about things i think that intrigues me a lot if someone comes in and they like are ye bura nahi are ye nahi acha pata hai wo kya kar rahi thi then immediately i'm like leave but i don't know i like people that see the good in the things that are around them that have an interesting take on things that have a good sense of humor so i guess how they see the world is so what i want so positivity yeah. we need all of that in life right now yeah, desperately just like an interesting original take on things someone who's not afraid to be themselves not the old boring self uh one talent of yours that you're very proud of but we haven't seen it yet um uh, i can cry on cue or oh, you can which is helpful in like films so yeah so then now if i tell you cry on cue is are you telling me that you would literally have tears streaming down your face are you that much of a method actor or are you like i mean i think yeah i guess <laughs> okay. Listen, we don't want to see Janvi crying. This is not why she's dressed up in glam to start crying on yeah, stage. Yeah, my mean, mascara is bad. <laughs> But I can, I mean, if you give me a scene, then I'll cry. I guess. Anyway, finish the rapid fire. We'll But come we will back hold you this. to that scene. Maybe perhaps later during the okay. other segment. Um, your biggest pet peeve. Oh, uh, as in what I what puts yeah, me off yeah. in a person. 
lack of hygiene. Okay. Yeah. If someone's not smelling valid nice. Valid one. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. Who's your spirit animal and why? Spirit animal. Um, I think. I think I'm like a puppy. I'm like a I know needy why. puppy. You know that clip of yours which is going viral. We have to we have to let in the audience on that which one? little talent of yours where you could actually make puppy sounds. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good at making puppy sounds also. But I can't come to like in India today conclave and start barking Listen, on stage. Listen, look at our audience, they're all cheering you. That's do we want so to hear her make some no. fun animal yeah, sounds? Yeah, there are so many senior people here. I'm like, I'm going to so it's not like a vibe. <laughs> do we want her to have no, some fun please, on stage? Guys. Come on, come no, on. See, they're all saying no. <laughs> they don't want me to make a fool of myself. I, do, I don't think anybody here has said no. I think it's just they you. They're all nodding. Please take my side. Come on, we need at least two people to say yes. I said two. You we want me to bark? <laughs> no, see, they're all saying no. Yeah. Okay, you're lost. Thank you, you will have to Google that viral clip later on the internet. Don't Please blame me. Please don't. Watch my movies instead. <laughs> One Hollywood actor whose DM you would like to slide into. If you get Austin Butler. That was quick. Yeah. I've thought about it a lot. I think about him a lot. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, your 3 a.m. friend. Hmm. The same person that's been my 3 a.m. friend since I was 16 years old. Okay. No names? No. You, you know who that person is. Okay. Yeah. If you had to describe your life as a book title right now, what would it say? Mm. This Side of Paradise. But it's a book, I think, by Fitzgerald. I always like the title. It's actually about like... I think people fighting a war or something. Okay. But I mean, it's like how, like you know how the grass is always green on the other side, but it really Absolutely. isn't. So I guess this side of paradise. That's deep and that's interesting. We are probably going to check that book out. Similarly, a song that perhaps describes your life right now or your state of mind, not necessarily your life. People have said that this song describes me a lot. Bholi si surat aankho mein masti. Dur khade sharmai, hai hai. Oh, oh, I like how every lyric has become an emotion and almost an expression. That does, that does suit you, I have to say that. Um, one Bollywood celebrity you would like to interview, perhaps if roles were swapped? Uh, Ranveer? Ranveer Singh. Yeah. A very interesting personality. I feel like have. he gives people a lot of like, Material to, to, yeah, to deal. Yeah. What would you open with? Say, I'm Ranveer. What would your first question? I think I just ask him to imitate people because I've heard he's very good at it. Or I just ask him. Actually, maybe I, I'd most probably want to interview Alia and just like ask her about her craft and like how she prepped for certain yeah. roles and what she did. That yeah. would be a masterclass which all of us would love to attend yeah. to get to know her genius. Um, one thing that's most annoying on a movie set. Just something that perhaps you're like, okay, I have to do this as well. Apart from waiting in the trailer van for us. Um, on a movie set. Uh, uh, I love everything on a movie set. Everything is good. Yeah. See, I'm really proud of this answer. You have no complaints. Goes to show how yeah, sincere you're about your work and how hungry you are for work and your craft. Yeah, everything's great. I just think sometimes when... Um, when in really emotional scenes, uh, if like the focus goes off or some technical difficulty and you have to do it again and you've just like bawled your eyes out, then to get the same thing again is a... Uh, like hmm. I hate when a good take happens and everyone's happy and they're like, this just happened. Me and Raj shot for a scene and it was very emotional and it was great and we were so happy after we did the scene. And then at the end of the day, we realized that the focus was off. So oh. we had to reshoot it and it was so depressing. But then we got a better scene the next day. So everything happens for a for reason. For a reason, like you said, like you mentioned in your book, obviously. My uh, book. And my final question is one Bollywood or a Hollywood actor, because right now the world is an oyster. You could just work across borders, break borders. Who's on your wish list? A Bollywood actor and a Hollywood talent that you would love to collaborate with next? Who, ha you, who you haven't worked with yet? I've not worked with any Hollywood actor. So who's on your wish list? If you were given a chance to say, um, sign up a film, like Alia's doing a Hollywood film now. Mm -hmm. um, I think Zendaya. Zendaya, how Zendaya. do you say it? Yeah, I, I've Euphoria. Seen, yeah, she's so good. And uh, I think Alia here. 
Yes, I clearly can see Janvi is an Arya fan. Uh, on that note, on the fact that you want to do films with these actors, um, we are truly going to make you sort of shoot a mini audition reel for us, where I'm going to give you Dipika Padukone's iconic dialogue. Ek chutki sindur ki kima. Tum kya jano, Ramesh Babu? You want to? I think it's Mahesh Babu. Is it? Mahesh Babu is, is it also. Mahe it's Mahesh Babu. No, it's Ramesh it's Babu. Ramesh. Oh, I'm <laughs> well, sorry, I'm clearly thinking about the South a lot. <laughs> clearly, Mahesh Babu just might be trending now. <laughs> but we will go with whatever name you want. So, that's the line. You've got the line. I'm just going to give her the emotion as a cue. And this is going to be her reel. And trust me, you never know. There could be a producer or a director, a Hollywood biggie watching this somewhere. And could you, you could just get a call. Um, so, ready? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anger. एक चुटकी सिंदूर की कीमत तुम क्या जानो रमेश बाबू ओहो ओके राउंड ऑफ अप्लाउज फॉर हर कम ऑन नाउ नेक्स्ट दिस इज फन दिस इज माय फेवरेट पार्ट ऑफ द इंटरव्यू नेक्स्ट इज सिडक्शन एक चुटकी सिंदूर की कीमत तुम क्या जानो रमेश बाबू इज इन शी जस्ट गुड आई टोल्ड यू दिस गर्ल इज ऑल हंग्री फॉर ग्रेट वर्क um Vamp, if you were like a vamp in a film and say this. Ek chutki sindoor ki kiemat, tum kya jano Ramesh Babu? Oh ho, giving me Gangubai vibes almost. Gangubai wasn't a vamp. She wasn't a vamp but like she had that, she had that side to her. Romance, like if you had to woo. Like if I was in love with someone, I need to look at someone. Hmm. Imagination, Jani. No. Right <laughs> okay, I'll look at you. Ek chut ki sindoor ki kiemat. Tum kya jano, Ramesh Babu? Oh, oh, look at him. <laughs> I don't think he's going to uh, stay back on the session for too long with that. Um, and finally, if you had to say this line as a comic artist, you were stuck in an elevator or you were trying to get out of a situation. Anything that's either slapstick or maybe comedy. Hey, man. Ek chutki sindoor ki kiemat. Tum kya jano, Ramesh Babu? Fantastic. Fantastic. I think this truly is a testament of two things. One is that what a great sport she is. And second is she definitely seems to be a director's favorite. I can do it crying also. You want me to do? Please do, na. Okay, ready? You want more. Okay. Just give me like five seconds. एक चुटकी सिंदूर की कीमत तुम क्या जानो रमेश बाबू ओह माय गॉड जानवी आई डोंट थिंक यू नीड एनी मोर ऑडिशन रील्स डायरेक्टर्स डोंट नीड टू शी हैज जस्ट Shown that she could cry at the drop of a hat. I mean, I thought she's conning all of us when she said that because you know actors will come and say, "Ha, aap mujhe ye bol do, main kar dunga, kar lunga." But this girl has, his, she's really blown my mind off with this. This, this is terrific. A big round of applause for what a sport she is. Thank you. Mascara, ठीक है ना? See, you have to wake our audience up with this. They, they, they love you. They want to just send love your way. And finally, I can't let you off by asking you about your lineup, which is coming up, and one particular film that recently got announced, which went viral. Uh, you know which one I'm talking about. I can, I think your yeah, smile. Yeah, because I manifested it. Did you? I prayed every day. Did you day. have a vision board? Did you have? Did you write it down? What no, but in every interview, I was just saying, I want to work with Junior NTR, sir. I want to work with Junior NTR, sir. So I she's doing know. a film with Junior NTR, guys. Uh, for those who don't know, which is a huge, huge deal. So, you do believe in this law of attraction and manifesting things, writing them down, visualizing them. I'm asking you this because I know a lot of us, including me, in the, in the last few years, I have realized that there is a power in our words, there is a power in what you visualize, there is a power in what you uh, want to achieve in life for all of us, not just for an actor. Can you speak to me a bit about that part of life and how did you discover it, apart from this film? Honestly, this film might be the first time it's actually really worked for me. But I do believe that what you put out in the universe is what you attract and then it eventually it's what happens. Um, but I really think that you can't just sit on your bed and keep visualizing and keep hoping and keep putting things out of the universe. You actually have to go and like do the work and put in the hours. 
So yeah, I think one thing I've learned is to always stay positive, understand that the things that haven't worked out for you have actually worked out for you. And that's what's always happened with me. If I've rooted for something and it hasn't happened, there's always been something better that's, um, you know, turned up. So I think the moral of the story, at least for me, is to just stay positive, to just do the work and uh, keep going. We won't be surprised if there's a book that Janvi gets out on 365 mantras or how do you live your life, the Janvi Kapoor way. I would buy that copy, trust me, because... I think you might be the only one, but... <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll question you to that. Um, I know I can't ask you a lot about the uh, Junior NTR film, I know that. But just a bit on him and just a bit on the fact that we are going to see the two of you together on screen. I'm excited. Uh, what is your take on that? And, uh, I'm literally counting down the days. I, I literally message my director who I'm so excited to work with also. He seems like a dream to work with and I, I love all of the ideas that he has. I message him almost every day like, sir, like prep, like any references, you know, what do we do? And, um, and the world that they're creating I think is going to be so exciting for the audiences, a visual treat. And uh, just working with um, Junior NTR sir, I think has been a dream of mine for a very long time. And uh, I recently watched, re-watched RRR and I think just the magnitude of the charisma that that man has, I think to be able to share screen space with him will be one of uh, the greatest joys in my life as an actor. So very excited. So we are excited for Junior, NTR and Janvi together in the next film. That's going to be a crazy pairing. Janvi, uh, what a delight to speak to. I always say this, I think the fact that you are yourself, you don't try to be anybody else, you don't aspire to copy anyone. Uh, you're all about positive vibes and I, I do feel a bit of change. I feel a happier Janvi. I feel that, uh, I don't know, your take on life seems to have changed. From all of us here, Wishing you all the very best. We will be buying tickets for the NTR film, if not perhaps the book. But <laughs> on that note, thank you so much for joining thank us at the so India much Today for Conference. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Thank you, guys.